So right now I'm going to teach you guys how to remove the um, orange, well, remove the menu and vocab um, bar uh, or the menu and vocab options in the bar up here. Um, and the reason why, at first I was, when I learned how to do this, I was like, why would I do that? Um, but the reason is sometimes I, in a, an earlier video, I showed you how to um, go to settings and menu and then set a passcode. Um, right now it's off, but you can use a passcode so that when you're teaching your kiddos um, how to use the device, uh, they don't go in and edit um, on their own and move things around, making it difficult for you to basically for you to teach them where things are and um, how to navigate and everything. Uh, when things get moved around, it's you can't once you navigate, things get moved around if they're not in the same place, it's hard to teach them how to navigate and where things are, obviously. So, but some of our kids are super clever, or a lot of them are, and they figure out the passcode. So to completely avoid that, um, you can get rid of the menu and vocab options. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come out of the app and hit the home button or whatever and come out of the app. You're gonna go to your settings in your iPad and I'm already here, but let's say, let's say we were up here. Um, okay, so, sorry, let me show you that again. So you're gonna go into your settings in your iPad and you're gonna come to the left and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find your touch chat app. You're gonna click the touch chat app and then you're gonna look over on the right. You can see um, photos, media, series, search acknowledgements, and then down here, um, is editing and it says allow editing and you can see that it's turned on because there's green. So you're gonna switch that off. Then you are going to come out of the settings app and you're gonna go back into touch chat. And if you see once I opened it, they just disappeared. So now you cannot edit. <laughs> so then if you wanna edit, you have to turn it back on and edit, but um, it's just temporary. You know, it can be turned back on at any time. It's just basically for the purpose of um, when you're teaching the student and they start moving things around, they figure out the password. Um, it's just not, it's just easier to teach them to navigate when things are not moving around and they're in the same places. Um, so um, that's it for this one. Oh, let me just show you that you can turn it right back on. So you come out of the touch chat app and you go back to the settings. It's um, we already selected touch chat. So if you go back to allow editing, you're just going to turn it right back on. Then you come out of the settings. Then you're going to hit touch chat again. And then boom, there they are menu vocab and you can start editing and um, whatever or go back and select new vocab. So um, that is it for that. And let me know what you think, guys. Um, if you like the video, like it and subscribe. If you're following on TikTok, please follow. Or if you want to follow on TikTok, please follow. And let me know. Give me some comments. Let me know what else um, you want me to do videos on so that I can try to help. All right. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.